What's happening folks? It's your boy. And today I finally get to show that oil change video I was talking about. This is gonna be a very butchered stitch, uh, but I'll do my best to make the best sense of it. Some steps were not covered in the actual live footage of the oil change. There's plenty of live footage as well that I recorded while I was doing it. It took me a lot. I went out at 9 p.m. because it was getting a bit cooler and you know with the sun out you cannot really do a lot of work especially on a car like that uh, so it took me until 11 p.m. to finish the whole job and afterwards I encountered some problems that I will talk about later but uh, for now uh, I think we're gonna jump right into the main part of the video itself and um, yeah hope you enjoy So after you take out the engine oil cap and the dipstick, then you have to unplug this drain plug on the baffle pan and let the oil flow for a while. So it's already really dark outside, but we're here underneath the car. As you can see, there's still some oil dripping. You have to wait until all of it stops dripping. So. Here we have a five liter container that I decided to slide under here because a full bottle wouldn't fit because stance and because degenerate Honda guy. But yeah, uh, we're gonna wait until the rest of it drips. Then we're gonna put the baffle pan plug, the drain plug back on. And we're gonna lower the car. Now, first we're gonna put the filter as well. There's also that exhaust joint that I still need to take a look at. It's not really you know it, it's not giving me a lot of peace so yeah still gonna wait until the rest of it is done as you can see we have very black oil there it really needed to be changed I think I've done more than 15,000 kilometers on this you know two road trips to Romania and back that's a lot that's about like 8,000 kilometers alone between Romania and Belgium and you gotta also calculate the amount of times I drove 200 kilometers to my mom and back. It's crazy. So yeah, this oil really needs to be changed. But in case you're wondering, it's the exact same oil as I sold you guys on my stories. It's the 10W50 by Total Quartz. And that's what we're gonna be putting back in. But this time it's gonna be clean and nice looking. So yeah, I'm still gonna wait and uh, I'll catch you when it's done. Okay, so now we're gonna fill in the new oil and this engine takes up like I said 3.5 liters so that's what we're gonna fill in I'm gonna use a funnel because it's a bit hard to get the thing, get this thing to pour right otherwise. We're not quite at the mark. I'd say that's about it. So now we're just gonna put the lid back on. It's not this one. That's strange. Uh -huh. That one was from my DIY funnel, which is actually the top from the bottle that I cut off with a lot of hatred and a pair of scissors. So we go, that's our oil. Now that we're full, I need my 
all cap. Just don't fetch this funnel, this DIY funnel. And we're gonna wipe your All the ordeal down there should be finished. Normally I put on the new filter and I also put on the drain plug. So here we have jack stands and our car jack. And now what I'm gonna do is start her up, make sure everything is all right. The light on the engine, oil, sensor is not gonna stay on it usually has to do with the engine oil level like that my back and now let's try this let's, let's just check to be sure there's nothing wrong here let's try a little bit of oil but that's fine it shouldn't be a problem while I was pouring. Okay, let's take her out of here. We're off the jacks. And there we go. So the oil level light briefly came on, but now it's off. We need to let this run for about 10 minutes, I'd say. Something like that. I don't know. I don't think it should really matter. We've got our part here. Fresh oil. I'd say we did a good job. It's dark outside. I really need to go inside and clean myself up. Also need to take care of the garbage that's out here. But I'll do that. So yeah. See ya. So that's about it for the oil change itself. Uh, afterwards, there was one more problem that I had uh, discovered. Uh, the thing was that I had done all of this while the engine was cold, and it turned out that if the engine was heated up, the the some plug structure would dilate a little bit and then the ceiling would be a, it would be compromised and as such there would be a small oil leak but to solve that what i did was i propped the car back up on jacks and then i just uh, let the engine run for a bit get up the temps and then i tightened the the plug while the engine was hot and now i have kept checking over and over and there's no more leaks thank god um, there's also no complaints from from the car itself there's no uh, onboard uh, lights that pop up so that's all good we did a pretty good job i would say but yeah that's about it the whole work itself was quite something but i managed to do it in the end uh i hope you took something useful from it if you have any questions which you may have definitely because this whole video turned out to be more of a vlog rather than a proper tutorial due to all of the steps i skipped and the reason for that was because this was very intense and i really had to commit to it but i'm ready to answer any questions for those of you who might want to get into diying i really encourage people to get into diy more because these are things that we have that 
it's just not worth it in my opinion to throw them away like don't just use it until it's broken and then buy another one i think that's stupid but may maybe that's just me so um yeah, i hope you enjoyed that whole vid and uh, yeah i'll catch you in the next one